What's going guys? Creep Up Lord here, and today I have Paulo's top four LCS9 deck profile. Um, this one is a very interesting one. In Paulo, you've seen play this deck um, before. He's played in the last tournaments. Like he's just been consistently playing this deck and showcasing it. And the way he's adapted it to the new ban list is pretty interesting. So uh, I just wanted to like share it, give my insight on it. So he played three um Crystal Dan, three Sanguine, three Conk, Standard. So what's interesting is he only played one Lord. And I noticed that like a lot of lists are playing two Lord. But the problem is like I feel like you can brick. It, but one Lord's a bit risky with Ice Dragon's prison. Because if you Ice Dragon's prison it, then and you don't have access to it, then that's really bad. But I guess the, the logic also works both ways, where it's like, okay, if I Ice Dragon prison it, then I can't have another one on field in order to banish both, and then just not have access in general. So I guess that makes uh, a bit of sense, uh, considering why I only played one, especially since he just wanted absolute consistency with this deck. And then two Hulk Arrow, again, he wants consistency, although it is an engine card, you definitely don't want someone to see it in multiples. And two is definitely, I feel like, correct in this style of deck. Uh, three Nadir, cards insane. Um, Ecclesia, Punishment, Floor, and Maximus. I, I It's interesting how I tried out Maximus, because I feel like it's a bit risky considering that there's going to be a lot of other Dogmatica decks. But against Virtual World, there's like a high payoff. So I think it's interesting that I kept in there. It's, it's also just like totally fine to slide it out. So I think that's reasonable as well. Um, barrage, because it's Barrage. 12 hand traps. And Ash and Nibiru, like I've said before, four combo with Nibiru, and then Ash is just generically good. But Bell and Meister, this is interesting. I think that Paulo recognized that there's going to be a lot of Eldritch. Um, because it did not get touched in the new format. So I think by playing Meister and Bell, it just absolutely just is meant to destroy Eldritch by stopping the Lords and making them have no Lord access, that, in which means that he's able to resolve his Zeus. So I think that this was definitely a good call on his part. Um, it's also very, like, it also doesn't have to be just against um, Eldritch. Like, um, Meister stops Kringlong. Uh, Bell can stop um, the, the Draytrons. It can stop uh, basically like any anything that wants to touch the grave. Bell can just stop, which is really cool. Uh, and then you play the eight Zeus, well three Tanky, two Bunny Blast, Ram Ram, uh, Throw Blade, and Whoop Tail. Bunny Blast is interesting. Um, people have been playing Ram Ram, where they play three Ram Ram, Whiptail, and Thoroughblade. Um, but I think he played, maybe he played Bunny Blast, like, to stop anything that, oh, sorry, he probably played Bunny Blast just in case, like, a Book of Moon or something, because, um, it means that, like, he's able to, uh, negate Book with its effect. Or anything, that, or anything that targets it, true, rather. Um, let's just take a look at the extra deck. So, Dryant, two Tiger Mortar, two Chalconite, Borbo. Uh, the Borbo, the second Borbo standard, but he's playing the, the Dogmatic Engine, so it makes sense that he'll play the one. Uh, one Zeus, I think that also makes sense, because he's playing Eldritch and he has, uh, and I feel like in his grind games, um, he's going to rely more on the, the Eldritch and the Dogmatica cards, and the second Zeus may not come up. Uh, the BLS thing, this card is just crazy. Um, this card is very good, and especially in Eldritch variants, so I totally agree with them playing this. Uh, Link Spider, Phoenix, two Intus, uh, one Ash Dragon, uh, one Wing Pegasus, out of Nister. Uh, this one's really cool, it means it just gives them a lot of like, protection, That's able to, and it's able to shuffle back problematic cards. Uh, and what Omega to recycle stuff. Uh, side deck, three Gamma, uh, th and three Joel, this driver. This is for just combo decks. This is especially for Drytron. Three Cosmic, 
uh, for a mirror match. Um, three mistakes and arrests. Uh, one order and one anti-spell. I feel like the anti-spell is kind of just like the 15th card, and it's just a very good card going first. So it makes sense he threw it in there. Um, yeah, but in general, huge fan of this list. Uh, I think he did a great job. Once again, congrats to Paulo. Um, he's a super nice guy. I, I played him uh, a while back at Wyshe's Niagara 2019. One of the, and it was like a real pleasure to meet him. He uh, definitely excited to see what he has next. In, uh, he has um, in store next with uh, in terms of developing this deck. Um, oh, and speaking of this, uh, he also recently started to get involved in the Duelist Academy uh, Discord, and he's a part of Duelist Academy now. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, please go check out Duelist Academy. Uh, I'll leave a link the, uh, to the Patreon uh, in the description of the video. Basically, it is a coaching service that you can use. You can get different tiers. Um, I think the lowest is like $5, which gives you access to the Discord, and uh, that's four free tournaments a month every uh, every weekend. Um, uh, my friend, good friend, you can probably know him, uh, Asal Wathantrige, sorry if I messed that up, runs the whole thing. Um, you know, he runs like all the tournaments along with Brian Levine. Super well run. Um, really fun. Uh, I'm glad I'm able to be a part of it. Uh, please go check it out. And this is Creeper Lord signing out. Peace.